So what is next for the Surface Duo 1 and 2 now that Android 12L is actually a thing? Now that both of these phones have 12L, what's the next step forward? Because based on that comment section, based on what I've seen on Twitter, a lot of people are disappointed with Microsoft for not giving us more of an update and more features with the 12L update. Now, I've said in my previous video, in all honesty, this is a perfect stepping stone for them to kind of try out new things and then, you know, move forward in that context. But let's go ahead and break down what the next thing they need to work on, what's the next thing they need to improve and update and give us with these two beautiful phones. Let's go ahead and get right into it. So starting off right away, 12L gave us really honestly the base minimum of an update to a new OS. It gave us all the Android 12 features, which is absolutely, in my opinion, one of the best updates of all time because of that. Uh, but it also did go ahead and make a more optimized and stable environment for this OS on these two devices. Obviously, 12L being for large screen, large phones, that kind of stuff. It added that, and honestly, that's probably the best feature that it added. The pen menu was awesome. You know, the Windows S look to it is awesome. And obviously, the new interfaces with certain like Outlook, that's cool and all. But actually making the most stable OS for the Surface Zero 1 and 2, that's the biggest W right there. Now, there is something, though, that they did add that many people don't know about. And it's actually going to be the addition of a Windows Contillium type feature. Hear me out. So if you go ahead and plug in the Surface Zero 1 or 2, now with Android 12 out, into any monitor, TV, whatever, you now have the ability from the phone to remote control any desktop PC. That's absolutely amazing. Now, you could have done this in the past. If you went to the Play Store, you downloaded remote control. Then you went ahead and had to download software on your computer and then link the two up correctly. And it was a whole entire process. Well, now they are running a beta currently where they are trying to figure out how to do this perfectly fine from just plugging your phone into a monitor. And this is the stuff they should have been doing for a very long time. But this is the good stuff they need to continue to work on. Is making this phone not just a cell phone, not just a tablet, but an actual workhorse capable device. And with the Duo 2, that's when we get more into the whole, they can really expand on this and make it amazing and honestly the best feature ever. While the Duo 1 might fall behind a tad bit with this feature, the Duo 2, they can really expand on this and have endless limits to add more functionality to this mode. So that's number one. Keep working on this Windows Contillium type features. And right now, I understand it's just a remote control desktop. And you might not look too much into that and think that's a huge deal. That's going to be a huge deal in the future when they add more features like that. And it continues to progress into something more special than just that. So number two is very obvious. I truly want to see this. I think a lot of people want to see this Android 12 L's taskbar. I think they definitely need to bring it to the uh, Surface Duo 1 and 2. That's something they did not add feature wise to the Duo 1 and 2. And to be honest, it's not like it's the biggest. Well, it is. Okay, I'll say this. It's the best feature of Android 12L, in my opinion, in general, when it comes to like the Galaxy Z Fold 4. But Windows Contillium does supersede it overall wise. It is a feature I love to see added to the Surface Duo 1 and the Surface Duo 2, just because it just adds so much multitasking capabilities. And for a phone that, in my opinion, is more multitask based than the Z Fold 4, you would think this phone would absolutely have the Android 12 L taskbar. With how multitask driven this phone actually is, this should have been the first feature they brought over with the Android 12 L update was that taskbar. Sadly, they did not bring it over. They need to work on that and make that a tad bit better. Number three, of course, really comes down to just get more applications optimized. Work with more developers. Work with more developers out there to really 
customize this phone and make it like actually feel like you know it's not just a set applications that work on this phone there are still to this day only certain applications that work perfectly on this phone and other applications are simply not optimized or certainly just not made for this phone there's so much potential you are literally leaving underneath the carpet here and to be honest i said this before right android 10 there's only so much they can do on Android 10 before. Listen, you can't do anything else. If you think of it like a progress bar, 0 to 100. Android 10 with the Surface Zero 1, they hit 0 to 100, and they couldn't go any higher than that, right? They only hit 100. Then Android 11 comes out with the Surface Zero 2. They only hit 0 to 100. They couldn't do any more than that. Now it's 12L. Right now, they're at 1% of that 100%. Continue to build on that. And number four, I will say right now, is that outside hinge. Last year, sorry, this I, earlier this year, they gave the ability for third-party companies to make customized um, applications for that outside hinge, which was, in my opinion, an absolute W. It gave the outside hinge an actual reason to exist. It gave the outside hinge more of, you know, actual customization slash features and that's awesome i really want to see something by microsoft though i do love third-party applications don't get me wrong i love launcher 10 i love you know nova launcher all these different type of launchers i really want to see some type of feature added and i can't really think of which feature would be that microsoft adds to android 12l for this outside glance display because 12l we already know is made for large screens and foldable displays there's got to be something they can add to this outside glance display just this makes it like a really cool feature i can't think of what it would be but just add something because this outside glance display yes while third-party companies still are able to you know fully use it and actually add cool customization to it I just feel like Microsoft is in a boat where they could do it themselves and they would be the best company to do it themselves. So that's definitely something I will say I want to see improved. And outside of that, I'll be honest with you, this phone is almost perfect. The Duo 1 and the Duo 2 is absolutely almost perfect. So if they add any other said features like, you know, different customized application types or maybe like the other, you know, here and there features... I would love to see it. Any feature that makes this phone unique and special, I would love to see. But at this moment in time, this phone is, in my opinion, a perfect phone. It's just, it's just need to continue to build. And right now, you unlock 12L. You have a whole entire 99% left to unlock Microsoft. And we already know the Duo 3 is coming out sometime in August of next year. So you have time to continue to build on this phone get a lot of people interested so that sales look pretty good on the surface duo 3 and you can continue this lineup for years to come guys if you did enjoy this video the likes comment down below i'll see you guys in the next one peace out